Might be a troll hover. Nautilus is the other pick that I think you might be happy about early on here. Goes really well together with the Varus. Really strong 2v2, especially post 6. And has the capability of locking down the Kalista very reliably. Now this That's is a... a pike. Much greater risk. In theory, obviously, the idea makes sense. You're playing into particularly the Ash, who does have a tough time into Hook Champions. It's still not the greatest. So, is that's a Kali for Showmaker? That yeah, would be exciting. Yeah, and, and and there's a lot of giggling happening. I I for one would not be mega excited to pick a Kali into Poppy. I feel like that's no. going to be uh, somewhat of a tough ask. Basically, your options are a Kali, Silas, and I think the LeBlanc that we mentioned earlier could be an option as well. The upside of Akali is that I think your mid-jungle 2v2 becomes a lot better than it could otherwise be. It's precisely what they're going to look for already. Carrier just throwing out some shots. Probably looking for a level 2 RD+, but Carrier doesn't really care about that. He can still shoot. Knows what's going on. Owner has vision as well, though, as the Hawk shot flies in. Lucid actually being able to avoid that. Oh, he might be able to smite oh, yeah. it away here. They don't know that he's in the brush, but they should suspect that he's coming towards this objective. A very impatient blue buff as well that is going to move back into the pit. Oh no, starting that one up again. I think every amount of time... Oh, there's a flash in with the wall bank from Ona. Lucid trying to ease him out of this. And he should be able to escape, but it looks like Ona has won the battle. As Faker's teleporting back. Ona is still here, going to be able to lock this one down, but Kellen a little bit late on this one, and Showmaker... Then uh, they're out of the game. Oh dear, Kellen might just be dead. Has to flash. Yeah, Extra himself. level of scrutiny that you're gonna be under. As well. that, was a, that was a dangerous one there from Faker, but uh, Ona is going to be here. Killer Instinct gonna be thrown out, and that is Ona just picking up the kill. Good bait to come through there, and Showmaker really wanted it. Right now we're looking at uh, an almost two or a one and a half K gold lead here for T1. Very early on, Showmaker is playing very aggressively, and uh, Attempt is gonna try and go for a steal here. All right, Stepfast Presence does come on over, and Lucid might have to just flash away. He is going to. Um, each of the rest of his team as Kalin. Yeah, can he find the Bone Skewer is the question. He decides instead to throw Showmaker back. The arrow is gonna be picked up, and there is the kill. Ona comes on in and takes down the Akali, but Faker does burn down as well. So D-plus are on the board, but I think that T1 are on the board once again, unless Kalin can get himself out, and it looks like he should be able to do so. Gives him a thumbs up. Ooh, gotta hit that one. Not gonna be the case, and uh, no real opportunity is aiming. Hey, King's doing well, Atlas. Yeah, King's nice. having a great game. Hyperprox coming on down here as he does manage to get the stun from the wallop. Yeah. I think there's still some opportunities for DK. I don't think this one is uh, is done just yet. Ooh, Carrier could be in a lot of trouble here. Another ult does go basically nowhere. The arrow is going to fly through, though, as Lucid gets himself a permafrost, but he's still tanking the turret. Baker is going to be taken down first, though, and Lucid, another couple of those need to be there, but the volley is blocked. And now Showmaker looks for it, doesn't find the backflip shuriken, and Carrier will stay alive. Yeah, a rousing Kel success as all, oh, Kellen. Yeah, Kellen is very dead. Um, played out very safely. Dragon is about to come up here, and DK really were looking for this trap. Yeah, Arrow is going dead. to snag Kellen there, and he's just dead. Barrel. Okay, ah, carrier. carrier sorry. He does 6k damage. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, um, carrier is running this early game alongside Owner, of course, who is just in the right place at the right time. Like, once again, perfect position. They layer the CC, and what is Kellen supposed to do here? Uh, yeah, just. When you secure the vision, peace out. Open the shop. I yeah, think. and, and here, here crucially, he doesn't have his E. Um, so the moment that he walks a little bit too far forward, he just goes down, right? He doesn't have a way, uh, the way, or isn't able rather to. If he can get past the front line. Uh, Amy, oh, oh, gonna have to flash and does also have to cleanse because the arrow still clips him. And Kellen now going to be at the mercy of Carrier as well. Gumiushi catches up. To, oh my goodness, just Pierce Ren and he's dead. Basically, he's going to have to either flip the lane or find a really big impact outside of lane. And we're slowly running out of opportunities. Ooh, goal. And that's, uh, that's a pretty good ability. He still has his sums. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's looking a little bit dire. As Zayas will look for the Nar. Gets himself out of the way though, not wanting to dive. But if they can break it, uh, Showmaker not quite able to do so. Faker oh, sidestepping I'm really good. nicely. And now, Lucid looking for that opportunity. He flashes! The spell shield's still there, though. Best of places at the moment. And also, uh, like, their engage is the yeah. Glacial Prison. It is. And so hope. just avoid that as Empress Fight is going to throw Lucid underneath this turret. Carrier just free firing, but they do manage to take down Faker. And there's the double for Carrier as well. Zayas now looking for this. Does find the third Q. And aiming. 
Gonna That's miss a 1v2. another ultimate. It is. And Zayas is running real quickly. It's a 1v2! It is. It is. Um, and aiming's now melee range with a with a Kasante, and now he's dead. Uh, Kingen is now mini Nar as well. Able to get out of the way of a few of these Qs, though, and Zayas is going to get flashed on. There it is, the boomerang to the back of the head. That was very close. Wait, get a, I think Showmaker did actually end up making it out. Yes. Then we take another look at this play here. Because... I, I, this isn't a fat Cassante, right? Zeus is, is 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 just a normal Cassante. He's just been farming for the last amount of time, and uh, I think here we see the Lethality Varus in particular. I think just has zero threat, and aiming and King are also not on the same page. Yeah. Like aiming is is walking back to the wave. And trying to clear, whereas King is still moving forward, and particularly against Zayas, like, yes, he ends up dying. You really need to focus on his Baron. Has now been started up by T1. Uh, Lucid is getting bullied out here by Carrier, who does have full ownership of this jungle. Lucid down to 50% before any of this has really happened, as there's the ulti. Fate Call going to come through here as well, as Ona will send the Nah back to the rest of his teammates. They do still have uh, a lot of the other team fight ultimates available. Oh, Arrow gonna connect once again as Faker just scoops in the Pike, who's dead mid push over the wall. Kingen has Maganar, like it's now or never for DK, but. Oh no, Lucid has to Arctic Assault himself out of this. There's gonna be no smite in the pit, and Kingen's Maganar is running out. You can see low health bar here onto Ona, but it's still just ticking down, and Carrier is just pushing the jungler away. He's gonna solo him. And now Steadfast Presence means you're not making it out of this one. Zayas going to pull the Nar around. And Showmaker, can you be the hero, is the question. Looking to get over the wall, but he's not going to get there. Owner just being poppy and avoiding death as Carrier says he's the AD carry now. Yeah, that would be a big... It just... A big error. One v one the jungler. He did. Um, owner is also going to look to kill Kellen here, who does manage to make it out. But they're only eleven thousand gold behind now. As aiming is going to cleanse, but he's still down to fifty percent health. Fate's cold is going to come through here as Carry is thinking about it. Thinking a lot more about what to do in game number two because this one is all over. But the Cryan has Lucid. Nice little fade away there onto Owner, but it's onto Owner, so it doesn't really matter. Kingen's got a Mega Narva, but not a lot of health. Because he's just taking poke damage here from Faker. The flash in, Faker, Emperor's Divide, onto three. And he's going to be absolutely fine. Ona finds a double knock up. The arrow sails by majestically, and Kellen is off on the side. He's not going to be able to stop this Nexus turret from going down, and not going to be able to do anything about this Nexus that's also about to explode. Aiming, going to die once again, and T1 will celebrate just before they finish the task. And that one did not quite work out there for D+. ま、ケージ。ま、ケージ。ま、ケージ。ま、ケージ。ま、ケージ。ま、ケージ。ま、ケージ。ま、ケージ。ま、ケージ。ま、ケージ。ま、ケージ。ま、ケージ。ま、